Welcome everyone to Superintendent's Corner. I'm Dr. David Clendenning. Today in the studio we have Mr. Woodkey, who is the Assistant Coordinator for Special Services. Uh, and we're going to talk about his role inside of our school corporation. He does a lot of many different things in helping support kids. So welcome to the studio. Thank you. So first, uh, tell the audience a little about uh, who you are and kind of your journey in education so far. Um, I'm Eric Woodkey. This is my seventh year here at Franklin Community Schools. Uh, my journey's been about everywhere, though. I've always taught special services and uh, high school social studies, but um, I've taught K through 12 and had students up to the age of 22. There's only a few few grade levels that I've missed over the years. Fifth grade and eighth grade are the only um, actual grade levels I have not taught. Well, that's, what an exciting journey. And, and, and this year, uh, you have a brand new job that it's kind of uncharted in many ways. I know that uh, you're helping with the essential skills in grades 6 through 12. Talk to us a little bit about that, that portion of the job. What, what does an essential skills uh, leader, coordinator uh, do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, with the essential skills, um, those are our students with very high needs. And so we have to make sure that we have uh, proper people and procedures and accommodations, modifications, and assistance for those students in their everyday um, life at school, their, their education. Um, at school and also we do assist with um, preparing them for um, the next school year and in their their adult life or home life as well and then the, the another part of your job is helping those students that are you know the 18 to 22 year olds uh, in transitioning to their life and, and lifestyles so talk about that job itself um, with, the, with those students, we truly, really try to focus on independent living skills. So while they're with us here at high school, we're focusing on independent living, um, what they need to be successful as adults. Um, after our program here, we would like th for them to have the opportunity to be in our INSPIRE program, which is our, our federally grant-funded program at the Franklin College. Um, so what we do here is different job sites, transitioning to adulthood. Many of our students, while with us, um, will have volunteer work at multiple locations throughout the year. And that way, they make community connections as well well as being able to understand different jobs to know what they're good at and what they're not so good at or they don't like so it's really to it's for adult planning purposes what are what are some of the jobs that are presently available to our students I know we go to a lot of different ones but can you just highlight a couple of them for the audience uh, um, what our students will be doing you know, we do we do several different jobs um, we work with government agencies or, or county agencies. Um, one of them that is new and exciting to us is, is the library. We're going to be volunteering at the library and doing a lot of different work there. Um, another one is a local company called Middle David's Candle Shop, and we do a lot of pack packaging and labeling. Um, Goodwill is another job, job opportunity that our students have, um, and it's more retail. It's stocking and purging of clothing and items. Um, Comfort Inn is also another one of our um, business partners that works well with us, and we, we work there quite often and have for several years. So we have many opportunities. We also like to, when we look at jobs, to look at different jobs. So we like to have one that's in the restaurant industry, one in retail, um, you know, one in, in maintenance or custodial, those type of things. So those are some of our, our current jobs, and uh, we're always looking for new opportunities. So speaking of looking for new opportunities, if uh, someone's watching this today and thinking, you know what? I have something that maybe one of your students could uh, do during the day. How would they reach out to you to, to make that connection? Um, they, would, they would contact me or contact the school. Um, I would do a job site visit, and, and we would sit down and talk about what, what they would like done. And then I would talk about if our students, if I thought those students would, would be able to do that. So we do a job site visit. Um, it, we want a partnership. We, we, we want to work for them, but we also know that it's benefiting our students. We want to benefit um, both both the student and the company. Um, and so we do, a, we do a job site visit. Then from that point on, we actually bring students over and see if we can actually perform the job or the task. Um, and, and then if, if it seems to be going well, we, we have the students attend on a regular basis and with a job coach. We always have an adult with our students. And it's normally one to two students, up to an hour and a half. Um, and they have a specific job that they're doing. And then from that point forward, we just try to grow the job and the skills um, with the employer, um, with our partner. And typically, um, our students can do a lot more than what our employer thinks or expects. And we continue to grow that relationship and blossom that relationship. You know, one of the, the, the persons that uh, kind of led us into the Aspire program was uh, um, now at the college. Correct. Talk a little about the college program. Uh, I know that we have college students helping, but I'm sure the audience doesn't understand all the dynamics of uh, Franklin Community High School students going to the college and participating in the day and life there. 
Correct. Our, um, currently, there are 12 students that are, it's students that are from Johnson County, just not Franklin High School. It's an application process, kind of like college. They have to apply and get in and accepted. Um, and all Johnson County essential skills students have the opportunity to apply for this after they've completed four years of high school. Um, with essential skills students or students with special services, they can stay in school until the age of 22. Um, that is awesome for those students, but also after four or five years of high school, those students are ready to move on. Um, and so in, in this program, they are able to move on with their peers, the ages of 18 to 22, people their own age with their own interest, you know, at the college level. So once they get into the program, um, they perform work-study jobs there just like other college students would to earn an income. Um, they also do have some community job sites as well. Um, they have a, they're in a peer mentor group just like a freshman would be, so they have a peer mentor group. And they also have peer buddies that's very similar to our best buddy program here at the high school, but they have that at the college level as well. Um, and we also, they are, have the opportunity even to audit some classes. Um, some of the students are in a PE class. Um, some of the students are in a, a science class. Um, there are some art classes that are available and some other classes that some of our students will be taking and auditing to get that feel of what it's like to be in a college class. Um, so they're, they're housed on campus. They go to classes. They go, they go to ball games. They go to, they're considered a college student, but in reality, they are still one of our Franklin High School students. So it's a neat transition to see them in that environment, around their peers, um, around in their next journey in life. What, what's the future of the programs that you oversee? Where do you see them in a year, two, three years from now? Um, the future of the programs, uh, I, I see that the school has <clears throat> allowed this role, created this role because they want this, this program to grow and to flourish and to be more expanding. That's why we, we have a transition adulthood program, our, voca our, uh, tra our program where our kids are out getting jobs. Um, we have our Inspire program. Um, we just have all these needs our kids need to expand. Um, and then with our students who are in the, the, the general education setting, we need to provide um, our accommodations and modifications and training to get those students to, our, to what the state wants us to do and what's best for those students to succeed in college or the workforce or the military as well. Um, so it's, we have outside of the classroom and inside of the classroom um, you know, issues and concerns that we're trying to um, move from that good to great parameter as well. And we really have seen a growth in this, in this program area uh, because of leaders like Eric um, and what he's doing. And one of the things I think people don't realize is that um, essential skills students, they have an opportunity to do many things. Yes, they go to class, but they can also participate in other activities. You mentioned one, the Best Buddy. Uh, for someone who has no idea about Best Buddy at the high school, can you talk a little bit about what's a Best Buddy program? Yeah, our, our Best Buddy program is fantastic here. It's one of our biggest clubs in the school. Um, Students who would like to assist or help or mentor or be friends to other students with disabilities, other kids who are different, become part of the, part of the Best Buddies program. It's a student-led group. Um, they go to national trainings, um, state national trainings, and um, they meet typically twice a week. They play games. They take them places. They become their friends. They sit with them at lunch. Um, they're just a, 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 it's a great peer um, program. The nice thing is we also offer a peer mentoring class that our general education students take for a credit. In this class, they learn about all kinds of different children and adults with disabilities and differences. Um, and that a lot of those students who are aware of this and have an awareness then become our Best Buddies board members, <clears throat> which then in turn creates a different school culture and climate and atmosphere here. And it's just a really neat program and how it all interconnects. It does connect. And that speaks to our guiding principle of individual student growth and trying to get kids through all walks and all experiences, all abilities to reach their full potential. Best Buddies does a great job of that, and it's because of teachers and leaders like uh, Mr. Wilkie. Um, as we get ready to close, um, there are resources that you sometimes need and, and opportunities. Um, can you just tell people again how to reach out to you if they have an idea or a resource they want to help? Uh, either with Best Buddies or with the Aspire program or connecting with essential skills students for future jobs. How do they contact you? Yeah, again, it's Eric Woodkey. I'm housed here at Franklin High School. If you call the main office, they'll be able to get you. My number is 346-8002. Um, and we have all kinds of new and exciting opportunities. We'd love to have uh, a new businesses in Johnson County, you know, meet partners with us. If you have any questions um, about any special services, 5 through 12, um, you can give me a call, email me. Um, 
and, and we can go from there. We also have another exciting opportunity is we're offering, we're trying to offer our first um, students with special services summer school program. And those are for students who've uh, failed a class and need credit recovery to come in in the summer and, and make up that credit. And so um, I'm also the contact for that and you'll be receiving more information. Parents will be receiving more information about that program. Hopefully that can be offered this summer. So as you can see, there are many, many great things going on. And I do believe our journey of good to great uh, is being benefited and uh, th achieved through the, er the works of Eric and, and mo most importantly for the students. You've been watching Superintendent's Corner. Thank you and have a great day.